Hello, welcome to another video. Now this one's not going to be as long because uh, this is Goldus from 22 Cannons who was started by Peter Molyneux and some of you may remember it started on a, a Kickstarter where you know the crowd, was it the crowdfunding platform I suppose because they or whatever. Um, so yeah, this this is from him. Um, it's based on Populous, as you may be able to tell. Uh, I've been playing a while uh, at, at the moment. Uh, this is just collecting what you call faith. Those little pink balls above the uh, the buildings are called faith. Uh, not called faith. Now, it will, as you can see, the the bottom left of the screen there. That's how much faith I have. And with faith you can control the environment as in you know, raise and lower uh, the the, uh, the ground and, and as the the game says sculpt your own landscape which is kind of what I've done if I give a little uh, give a little example just here if I double click and we get more land if I double right click, it takes away the land, so... And every time you do that, it uses up your faith, which is understandable. I mean, you can, it, if you sort of, if it didn't use anything, you know, uh, you could just do it forever and ever. Uh, now, the thing is, you build up faith by... I mean, you originally start with just two characters, uh, two followers, you could say. Uh, you, those two follow you clear a bit of land and you build a hut. Uh, next thing you know, they go in some faith and what they also do is this rag, not rag, like this, a flag, <laughs> yeah, a right, uh, flag raises. What that means, once that uh, flag is raised, is that you can, uh, like, click on the building and a person will leave. Now, when that person leaves the building uh, and you've got an open space where, as you can probably see, there's a square around the building. Uh, if there's one of those squares on the floor, then uh, what will happen is the two people, well, the, the one person, I should say, originally, when you as they two become one, if you know what I mean. Um, that one person will build another hut, or whatever, and the building. And then, uh, once that building is done, there'll be a, another sort of, well, I suppose we say, like, little bit of ha-ha, and another person will emerge. <laughs> and that's basically I think you know how populous were at all, out of populous. Go forth and populate. Um, ah, ok, ok, here we go. There's, there's a wall there. This is the only danger at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure. I keep clicking on the wall. As you can see, <laughs> you can see great emotion there. But the thing is, this is beta. This is only a beta at the moment. Um, what I have done before is, if I, if you click on them a lot, sometimes it disappears. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually killing the wolf or, or no. Um, now, I don't have any power outside of the... Uh, of the green areas, if you know what I mean. Like the, the bit that's coloured is the bit that I can control or have access to. I can't control this, but I can still click on the wolf. Um, but apparently it does, that one doesn't seem to want to, uh, to die. Now, as you can see behind that tree there, there's some cards. Uh, the cards are uh, things you find, as in, such as this one, 
There just happened to be a hole here which I was working on a little earlier. If we uh, remove the tree, three clicks and it removes the tree. Uh, so if we move forward slightly now. Uh, oh, there we go. I've been working on this one already. I've cleared some trees. We open it up and we get a Kingling resource card. Now, these cards you collect like so many, and it all adds up to other cards, which I'll show you in a moment if I just click on that to disappear. Let's see. Out of there. Now, this is the book of your people. It's uh, a progress chart, as you can see. As you can see, uh, see that these are the different cards and whatnot that you uh, you collect. Uh, there's the commandments. Those are the sort of fairly easy ones that you gain after a pretty short while. Um, as it says, it's an established period. Uh, bit. These are the collections. Now, the land expansion, what that means is once you've got so many uh, people, so much populace, as at the moment I've got four, five, four, four, five, there's still a little bug in the game where that should say 500, I think, or maybe even 450. But as it's 445, I'm guessing I've got to reach 500 uh, populace before I unlock the next stage or the next card. Uh, it's not always a land expansion, it could be something else. Um, but you find things like felt, which obviously the people use for the roof, I would guess. Uh, okra, you may have seen that um, on the building, which I will show you now. So I'll go back to the uh, go back to the game now. Uh, you've got the I would say it's the primitive age of the. I can't, one of the things at the moment I can't name me as you know the person playing, and I can't name my society, my people. So at the moment it's blank. Uh, right, at the start of the primitive age, the followers have moved from the wilderness and started to come together to live in permanent boats. By using basic tools, forming simple communities and expanding their population, the followers have become uh, ever more advanced. And what this means, uh, because I opened the science uh, bit, so you've got the settlements. Now to unlock, you need to collect certain things from the ground, such as out of that chest, not a big now, I've got the required stone. Now, I think that's flint. That one. I think I need a, a, a flint card to complete that one. Uh, this one. Oh, what was that now? Was that plaster? I think that is. Uh, I've got the required timber and clay. Uh, with this one, I need uh, plaster. And that will basically upgrade the buildings. Uh, this was the latest one that I opened with the calendar where you needed kindling animal pelt and I need two more candles to to create the calendar. So and as you can see there there's another one which that will unlock obviously a little later in the game. Um, and so you, there's a, a couple there, you've got a statue of speed which I think that's when you unlock certain shrines and things like that. There's a, a wild man card which I got to win in the first battle. Uh, not sure if there's any more. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, there's the flint. Yeah, I've, I've obviously used up, so I need to find some of that. Uh, plaster. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, candle clay. Uh, not exactly sure what these diamonds mean. Uh, Oh, right. Okay. So if I wanted to buy a c that card, it would cost me 15 of these, I'm guessing diamonds. Uh, 
Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Obviously, I uh, didn't know that. But uh, I'm still new to the game, you know, so I haven't played that much. Uh, I found Meat, which I'm not exactly sure when that will come into play, but. There we go. So, at the moment, uh, as you can see, I'm just. Uh, you have to excuse the same thing, but it's going to be funny because, as I've explained in my other videos, I've only got this laptop and, to be fair, it runs the game quite well. Not as perfect as it could, but pretty, you know, it runs quite well. Uh, I mean, the, the screen resolution is 1280 by 768. So, you know, it's it's not bad. It runs at a quite a decent um, rate, basically. And, and it's running actually quite well, considering I'm recording this. Uh, now this, Mount of the Gods, uh, there's this person called Amy who basically uh, invites you to battle. Uh, what I'm guessing is this. Is, I mean, I've already won the first battle there. Um, you go through this, and obviously, blah, 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 you make it to the top and become, I don't know, become a god, I guess. Uh, the the chats, that's that's not real. <laughs> At first, you think, I got it. I'm not online with this, who's talking to me? Um, but yeah, that's uh, a kind of a, a challenge thing that unlocks cards as well, which is a good thing. Uh, because I've got to admit, I am really enjoying this as the game is. Um, and all it is at the moment is just me populating the place, um, like discovering new areas, and you know. Uh, Going on all this belief. Oh, hello, what, what's happening up here? Has he, uh, has he finished? Oh, not quite. I've got this guy here who's uh, is working on a shrine which was which was uncovered when I got, uh, got the, the latest land expansion. Uh, which I didn't quite get the land expansion straight away. Uh, Oh, now as you can see at the top there, the number was changed to 500. So it, it, it's the game's still a little buggy. There's little bits that you think, hang on a minute, that shouldn't do that. That shouldn't be like that. Otherwise, the game does run pretty well. You know, it's uh, it's it's doing good. Apparently, this is only about 40% of what is to be expected in the full game. Um, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what they're going to add in in time, you know, uh, because with this being an early ac early access title on Steam at the moment, um, obviously it's not the full game, but I'll tell you what, it's a bloody good beta. It's uh, yeah, it, it's quite extensive. I mean, it's not as if uh, you're limited by anything. I mean, at the moment, I'm, I'm not limited. You know, it's uh, I mean, I've managed to get this far, and there's all that population there next to the shrine, and there's all this over here. Now, what I was talking about earlier. Um, as you can see there, there's like one, two, three, four, there's a few uh, empty squares there. Now, all you need to do, when you see a flag, click that, and a little person will come running out. And there's only that one. And then what they'll do is they'll run to the nearest square and start building a building. That's good. And it, it usually takes two people per
per per square. As now there are two different squares. Um, there are squares that come up with just the number one, which that would be this one, and that means it will be a small building. Uh, there are some squares that have the number two on them, which is this one, and that means that that will be a bigger building. And with that one, if I click these two, oh, it really started to build there, so let's keep these two as well. And then hopefully they'll run over there. And uh, an outpaid or or as that guy there has just we started building them. Mm. He decided not to. I was thinking, well, no. I don't, want to <laughs> I don't want to help build. Oh, no, he decides to. He's, uh, he's just suddenly realised that. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold up, chaps. And there we go. That one's finished. So, once the building's finished, they they move in and your population gets bigger. Because all you've done is taken one person out of each building such as this one, I'm going to talk one person out of there, but, as you can see, what will happen is, another, per another person will be born into that house, in the next five minutes, and in the next 32 minutes, that will give me some faith. And as you can see, four out of five people will live in this. Uh, so there you go. And this is the building process. As you can see, the buildings are a kind of ochre colour. That's because of finding the, uh, the ochre thing. So if we click on another couple of buildings here, hopefully they will say... I mean, there's, there's a square over to the right there. And it looks like they're going to find that one. There we go. Oh, now looks like this building is coming to fruition. Is uh, if they raise the roof. <laughs> and up goes as if sometimes up to three people can move into one of these abodes. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I just saw. Aha, I did. Yes. If I just pull that back. And we're here. More animal furs, what's that anyway? Okay, it's not like I need see where it's oh and that's just upgraded to to two. So that means that there they can build one of these where up to three people can uh, can move in there at once. Uh, up to three people can help build it, and those three people can move in uh, once it's finished. But I, I think, in a way, if you want to, you know, boost your popularity, uh, your popularity, your populace uh, quicker, then. You don't, you don't really want to... Uh... Now see when you click on the paper and a little green plus 100 appears. Oh, well it did just, but I can't do it again. Sometimes when, uh, when, when your people are in battle, when you take on that AME in a battle, 
uh, you may need to keep clicking on the people because they are far away and they really cannot run very far before they start to collapse it's I mean, I'm not sure if that's uh, well, part of the game uh, that I think it could be something that could do with changing because I mean, as you can see, uh, oh, that looks like looks like a female. And this is the one thing the this is a bit thick, so they've like got to climb up it. I mean, I'm not sure if that contributes towards the tiredness of the uh, of the little character, but see when you click and it gives them a, an energy boost, they run. So I think it could actually. I mean, I ah, she's going to well. Thank you. Because I've clicked earlier on. So, oh, and there we go, it's finished. Ta da! Uh, and they will probably move on to that square there, which they can uh, start building a house to live into. So, going all the way back down. Haha! <laughs> right, so, what do we have here then? Land expansion! Wow, just for uncovering that shrine. Okay. Is that it or...? No. Nothing else, okay. Sometimes you, you can unlock more than one card. Um, now... That said, a land expansion, but it doesn't look as if my land has actually expanded because I mean I was actually working my way up to this one because there's a, a shrine there and there's like a big building type thing there um, but it kind of looks the same as it did so at the moment I'm guessing that it hasn't expanded the land this was one of the uh, the little glitches actually put on Twitter about the land not expanding um, but when I went into this Mount of the Gods uh, and I took on Amy in the battle uh, when I returned to the main game uh, the, the land had expanded which actually that might have might have done something Yes, yeah. I don't think it has, it looks the same. As you can see, there's a, a building up there which you need to like get there first, if you know what I mean, before uh, before you kind of unlock it because your people then I suppose you could say restore it like they did with this shrine um, but at the moment it doesn't look as though it's expanded the land which is kind of what happened last time um, and also it didn't explain what that shrine's for uh, I don't think uh, can't really click on it. So if I click on it, I'll just, I'll just sort of move the the earth beyond. It. So I'm not exactly sure what that's for. Now there's, there's, there's some cards floating around just there. I can't get those at the moment because I don't have access to that land. Um, this is one of, the, as I say, this is one of the little, maybe not glitches but uh, 
one of the things that needs attention anyway, basically. Uh, oh, there's that, that wolf there. Yeah. As you can see, the animation is pretty basic at the moment. Uh, oh, there we go, it's disappeared. I think what well, it is, if you randomly click it so many times, it, it will disappear. As, you, as in, like, yeah. you smite the wolf. <laughs> um, so, anyway, yeah, that, at the moment, that's goes. Um, you can buy it on Steam, early access. It's fourteen ninety nine. It might seem a little expensive and it might seem a little basic at the moment. But don't forget this is an early access beta. Uh so you know, don't expect miracles just yet. <laughs> so it it's getting there. I mean it, as, like I say, and what you've seen, this is a fairly decent beta. It's not exactly something that you can just play for like the sake of an hour, maybe, and think, oh, well, is that it? Is, is, this, uh, is this all I've got to do? I mean, you can't, I, you know, I'm still, I've been playing this quite a while, you know, to, even today at least five hours or something. Um, and I, I've, I'm really enjoying it because, for one, there's nothing threatening happening. There's no like, earthquakes. There's no other civilizations trying to attack me all the time, or there's no rival god trying to you know, throw fireballs at me or something. I'm enjoying just exploring, on, you know, opening up new areas, and. I mean, I've got all this area in it. I mean, there are a ton of squares there. That is just going to be so populated. <laughs> um, I think I may need to put a beacon in that. Because we can do. If I show you this quickly. Open that up. Uh, it says place a totem. But it costs cost you a hundred of your fat, but you know, that's a, that's a nice thing. I'm going to actually put it out there. So you can see that there's a totem. That will cause the people who are on their release uh, from some home. It will cause them to run over there. Now, if this was a tactic on web tips. Um, what you need to do. Don't come out and release a whole load of people all at once while you're still populating. What you need to do is build up slowly and you will be rewarded better for it. Uh, okay, so as you can see, all these people are making their way towards the totem. Run, my people! Run! Aha! Wolf. No way, wolf. There we go, that's Okay then, uh, I think, it, is that everybody? That's everybody who I released from the house anyway. Now, uh, as you can see, they will all sort of bow down. So, now if I deactivate the totem, what I will start to do now is build. As some of them already have. <laughs> uh, I think there's somebody 
Let somebody wear a pin on the shrine. Well, I hope they are and they're not stuck in there. That would be a... <laughs> that would be a bit of a bummer. Um, so as you can probably hear, they're all working away. And... There you go. That is Goddess. Or Goddess. However you want to say it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed having this uh, brief look at it. I mean, I'm not going to go on for ever as well, because I've done before. I will leave it there and say thank you for watching and joining in this little preview. Uh, join me next time when I will try and show you something else. Goodbye.